Volkswagen is making tangible progress on its highly anticipated entry-level electric vehicle, the ID2. This affordable EV, first previewed over two years ago with the ID2 All concept and aiming for a price point under €25,000, is inching closer to its official debut. Recent milestones, including the production of pre-series battery systems and body parts, indicate that Volkswagen is gearing up for mass production, production milestones and strategic investments. The journey of the Volkswagen ID2 towards market realization is marked by significant production milestones at the group's Martorell plant in Spain. Seat SL. Entrusted with leading Volkswagen's new electric urban car family, a series of entry-level electric models, announced crucial advancements this week. The facility has successfully produced the first body parts for these upcoming models, on its new PXL press. These components are destined for the Capra Ravel in 2026, followed by the production version of the Volkswagen ID2, demonstrating a shared platform strategy for cost efficiency. This initial pre-series production phase at Martorell involves a blend of both automated and manual tasks. As the plant upgrades reach completion, Volkswagen anticipates transitioning to fully robotized processes, requiring a workforce of approximately 500 dedicated individuals for streamlined and efficient manufacturing. This substantial investment in automation underscores Volkswagen's commitment to high-volume production for its affordable EV lineup. The Martoro plant has received a significant investment of 300 million euros, 340 million dollars, which will enable it to produce up to 300,000 batteries annually. This substantial battery production capacity is vital for supporting the planned scale of EV manufacturing, ensuring a steady supply for the ID2 and potentially other models within the electric urban car family. Volkswagen's ambitious target is to commence series production of these vehicles in 2026, signaling a rapid acceleration towards its electrification goals. Marcus Haupt, interim CEO of Seat & Capra Brands, highlighted 2025 as a decisive year for the company as it ramps up to kick off series production, emphasizing the strategic importance of this new EV lineup for the group. Looks like we are well into this video we would like to welcome you to the Electric Explorer, your go-to spot for all things electric. We dive deep into the world of electric vehicles, from the latest models and tech to industry trends and sustainability efforts. Whether you're an EV enthusiast, or just starting to explore, we've got you covered with reviews, news, and insights that will keep you plugged into the future of driving. So, hit that subscribe button, buckle up, and let's charge forward together. The ID2, affordability meets range and design inspiration. The Volkswagen ID2, is poised to become a pivotal model in Volkswagen's electric vehicle strategy, primarily due to its aggressive pricing and compelling specifications. Touted as the first Volkswagen EV to be built on the new MEB Plus platform, it will integrate a low-cost lithium iron phosphate LFP, battery system. This combination is expected to significantly reduce production costs, enabling Volkswagen to deliver on its promise of an EV priced under €25,000, $27,000. This price point is crucial for widespread EV adoption, making electric mobility accessible to a much broader consumer base. Despite its affordability, the ID2 is not compromising on range. Volkswagen projects a WLTP range of up to 450 kilometers, 280 miles, for the ID2, achieved through particularly efficient drive, battery, and charging technology. This impressive range for an entry-level EV will address one of the primary concerns for potential EV buyers, range anxiety, making it suitable for both urban commutes and longer journeys. Volkswagen describes the ID2 as offering the spaciousness of a Golf, but at the price point of a Polo, effectively blending practicality with affordability. This positioning aims to leverage the enduring appeal of Volkswagen's popular compact cars, while ushering in a new era of accessible electric mobility. The design of the ID2 is set to draw inspiration from Volkswagen's iconic past. Kai GRNITZ, VW's tech development head, revealed at the Le Auto Show in November that, huge improvements, are coming, starting with the ID2. He promised a return to Volkswagen's roots, with inspiration from classic models like the Golf. This nostalgic nod is further enhanced by a unique, fun feature, new drive modes like classic and vintage. When activated, these modes will transform the display cluster to mimic the aesthetics of an old-school Beetle or Golf, offering a charming blend of modern technology with retro appeal. This thoughtful design approach, combining practicality, range, and nostalgic styling cues, is designed to appeal to a wide demographic. Platform Evolution and Future Ev Lineup The introduction of the ID2 marks a significant evolution, 
in Volkswagen's electric vehicle architecture with the debut of the MEB Plus platform. This enhanced modular electric drive matrix is designed to be more cost-effective and efficient allowing for the development of a range of affordable yet capable EV. The choice of LFP battery chemistry for the ADOT2 is a strategic one, known for its lower cost, greater stability, and longer lifespan compared to other lithium-ion chemistries, further contributing to the vehicle's affordability and durability. The ADOT2 is just the beginning of a rapid expansion of Volkswagen's EV lineup. It is one of 10 new electric vehicles that Volkswagen plans to launch by 2026, showcasing an aggressive product offensive in the global EV market. Following the ID2, Volkswagen has confirmed plans for an ID2 SUV variant, which will capitalize on the booming SUV market while offering the same value proposition as its hatchback counterpart. Even more affordably positioned will be the smaller ID1, set to arrive later in the product roadmap. The ID1 is particularly notable as it is slated to be Volkswagen's first software-defined vehicle, SDV, developed with assistance from Rivian. This collaboration hints at Volkswagen's commitment to leveraging cutting-edge software and connectivity features, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in entry-level EV. Volkswagen brand CFO David Pauls confirmed during an earnings call earlier this year that the ID1 is planned for a 2027 launch, further solidifying the brand's long-term electrification strategy across various segments. Manufacturing efficiency and market readiness. The investment in the Martoral plant, and the meticulous pre-series production processes are crucial steps in ensuring manufacturing efficiency and market readiness for the ADOT2. The transition from combined automated and manual tasks to fully robotized processes signifies Volkswagen's long-term vision for high-volume, cost-effective production of electric vehicles. The planned workforce of around 500 individuals, dedicated to battery production and vehicle assembly, will form a core team supporting the plant's ambitious output targets. The ability to produce up to 300,000 batteries annually at Martoral is a strategic advantage. Battery supply chain stability and localized production are critical for reducing costs and ensuring uninterrupted production of EV. By investing heavily in its own battery manufacturing capabilities, Volkswagen is safeguarding its future EV production reducing reliance on external suppliers for a key component. The expectation of series production commencing in 2026, either later this year or early next year as per the initial announcement for ID2 All, aligns with the overall timeline for the full launch of the ID2 and its subsequent family members. This disciplined approach to scaling production underscores Volkswagen's commitment to not just designing, but also effectively manufacturing and delivering affordable EV to the mass market. Competitive landscape and strategic impact. The launch of the Volkswagen ID2 will intensify competition in the burgeoning affordable of segment. Its target price of under 25,000 euros directly challenges vehicles from Chinese manufacturers that have traditionally dominated the value for money EV space. By bringing a recognized brand like Volkswagen into this segment with a compelling offer of range, practicality, and nostalgic design. The ID2 has the potential to significantly disrupt the market. This move is part of Volkswagen's broader strategy to democratize electric mobility and accelerate its transition to an all-electric future. The electric urban car family, led by Seat Esso, signifies a concerted effort to offer a diverse range of affordable electric models tailored for urban environments and beyond. The ID2's arrival, followed by the ID2 SUV and the ID1 will create a comprehensive entry-level EV portfolio that caters to various consumer needs and preferences. Volkswagen's commitment to launching 10 new EV by 2026 reflects an aggressive and confident stance in the global electrification race. The ID2, with its foundational MEB, plus platform and LFP battery technology, is not just a new model. It represents a strategic pivot for Volkswagen, aiming to establish a strong foothold in the mass-market EV segment and solidify its position as a leader in sustainable mobility.